Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. Now you probably have seen all the news on the internet about this new AI model called DeepSeek that was invented here in China that is outperforming ChatGPT and it is also open source. So what I want to test in this video is how good is DeepSeek at helping us to program microcontrollers for example the Raspberry Pi Pico. The first project that we are going to prompt is going to be this one here. This is just a simple prototype for the Simon Says game. If you want to build this circuit yourself you can find the schematic diagram on my website. So to keep this video short and to the point we are not going to ask it how to install MicroPython and do all those basic things. What we want to do is just prompt it with the diagram we have and then see can it write the code for us. So let's go to DeepSeek. Here I have a prompt. I'm just saying I'm making a Simon Says game and I have the following connections made. And then I indicate where's the blue LED, red LED, yellow and green and also the button pins. And I also said here that I have a buzzer connected to pin 6 which we can use to play different tones. So I'm not going to say we should use PWM. I want to see what will DeepSeek say. So then I say here, can you help me write the code for this project? We want each level to get harder and each color should have a custom tone when it plays. So let's just press here send and see what does it give us. And here is the output of our prompt. It shows the example of what will the code do and here it has the full code for the Simon Says game which we're just gonna copy here but looking at it it seems like it will work and if we go below this code we have also an explanation of the code that will explain how the LEDs and buttons, the tones work, the game logic and then how to use it. So they say upload to your Raspberry Pi Pico, connect the LEDs, buttons and buzzer as described and then run the code. The game will start at level 1 and increase its difficulty as you progress. And then let me know if you need further assistance. So let's quickly go paste this code on a Raspberry Pi Pico and see does it work. Here we are in Fonny and we have the code in a script and we are connected to the Raspberry Pi Pico. So running this script we see the LED will come on. And I didn't look now and I pressed the wrong one. And it showed game over, you reach level 1. So let's press the correct one. And it says correct and then it will flash a new sequence so now it's red red and there is also a different tone for each one so we can see this initial code works perfectly but there might have been a small problem because if we look here for the buttons it sees the buttons here is a pen pull up and luckily for me the way i connected these buttons it is in a pull up configuration. Now if you had your buttons connected to a 3.3 volt rail you would have had to have this in pull down. Now that might be something that we can prompt DeepSeek and say the buttons doesn't work. So let's maybe go back to DeepSeek and I'm going to say my buttons does not work and maybe it will tell us what should we do. I am back in DeepSeek so let's say here my buttons do not work. What can I do? And here is the response. It says we need to check the wiring. And we can see here the other side should be connected to ground. So that means that will fix our problem. So it says again here double check that the ground connections are secure. Or we can use pull up resistors. And we, this tells us we can use the internal pull up. That will pull up the resistor so that one side is then connected to ground. And it also gives us a simple test script to check if the buttons are working. So if you do find any problems, you can always just go prompt DeepSeek further and it will help you to guide you to find the mistakes, either in your circuit or in your code. I know this example for the Simon Says game might have been easy and we don't actually need AI to do this because it's just a very straight program that we need to write. But if you're going to write more complex programs, you can always use something like AI tools like DeepSeek to paste your code in there and it can help you optimize, find mistakes or make improvements. Now, if you do use DeepSeek, all your data is going to be stored, but I mean, it is just simple electronics and you should not be on the internet if you are afraid of your data being used because ChatGPT or OpenAI I'm sure all your data was not given to them with your permission when they scraped the whole internet. 
So at the end of the day, I think using AI tools with microcontrollers, so if you're using the Arduino or you're using the Raspberry Pi Pico, is a great way to help you. Now, it is going to make you maybe a little bit lazy and you might rely a lot on these AI chat models to help you write your code. But if you know the basics, this can help you to also then learn further because it will explain to you different concepts that you might not have known. So overall, I think using DeepSeek should be a great tool that you can use, especially that you don't have to pay for it, like using the ChatGPT 4.0 model. And this video only focused on microcontrollers, but also sometimes I will even use ChatGPT to help me write a script. So let's see how well does DeepSeek do. So let's say here to write me an outro to a YouTube video where I used DeepSeek to write code for the Raspberry Pi Pico. And here we have a nice outro script. So, all right, everyone, that is it for today's project, building a Simon Says game using the Raspberry Pi Pico. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. A huge shout out to DeepSeek for helping me write the code and troubleshoot along the way. Now, I like this self-promotion here. That is quite funny. And if you haven't already, check out DeepSeek. It's an amazing tool for coding projects like this one. Now, <laughs> um, I have used ChatGPT before. ChatGPT didn't give itself a shout out like this, but I do find this a little bit funny. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up, that's good, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future projects. I've got a lot more Raspberry Pi Pico projects and MicroPython content coming your way, so stay tuned. So there we have it. Go use DeepSeek. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments what video you would like to see next. I am still planning on making a lot of Pico videos. I've just been procrastinating a little bit. It is Chinese new here and there's a lot of fireworks and my dogs is a little bit in a panic mode. So most of my time is spent with them now, but I am going to make a lot of videos this year. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.